Hello, my name's Simon. I'm from Armadillo Art Experience and as Halloween is upon us, I thought I'd show you how to draw a couple of spooky characters to get you in the mood. And I'm going to start off by showing you how to paint this creepy spider. I'm going to use black paint, per, even not paint, paper. And um, I'm not going to bother drawing it out first, I'm just going to show you how to paint it. But hopefully if you haven't got any black paper, you can use some white or something like that, and another colour. And if you haven't got any paint, you can still draw the uh, character with a you know, colouring pencil or some crayons, anything you like really, and still hopefully get something out of the film and hopefully, you know, have a go. I'm just going to use some paints I've got lying around to hand. I've got yellow, I've got some turquoise, white, I've got some black and some brown. And I'm just going to use those, if that's, that's what I've got in front of me. Um, these are acrylics, so they are going to cover this black paper really, really well. Um, and as I say, if you haven't got these things, and if you haven't got any black paper, don't worry. Just have a go, you know, creating a spider anyway. Right then, I'm going to get a brush. Um, I'm going to get my paints out, and we'll get started. So let's get some paints out, some ready brown, some white, yellow, turquoise, and some black. So I'm going to start by painting the spider's eyes. You could use white, but I thought yellow looked spooky against the black background. Of course, we need eight eyes for the spider, because I've got eight eyes. And I put some white into that paint to make it cover the paper better. Now I'm going to put on some eyeballs. So we'll paint the uh, spider's hairy body in ready brown. Like that. Now I'm going to add some legs, and of course we need eight of these as well. So next we'll dot in some eyeballs with black and then we can put a bit of sort of shadow under his eyes and define his eyes a bit more to make them look a bit more intense and then draw a spooky smile on his face. We'll add a bit more paint to his legs to make them stand out because of course we go onto the black paper. And now I'm going to put some yellow in the ready brown and some white and do some highlights. Next let's add some white teeth and a bit of web coming out of his bottom and a web hanging from the ceiling there. Let's add a couple of webs to the side. Now I'm going to add a bit of turquoise on his fur, just to, again, just to add a bit of, you know, highlight really, and to make him stand out more. A bit more yellow and white and ready brown mixed to really make him stand out. A bit on his legs to sort of, so you can see them properly. And we'll add a couple more cobwebs and that's about it bit of movement around his body and then we have a spooky spider. So here we have our finished spider. Now let's move on to the witch. So I'm going to use white paper for this and I'm going to draw my witch out first in a marker pen and then I'm just going to simply paint her in with the colours I've still got lying around from um, my spider, although I might use red as well, I might actually get some red out and use that as well. But uh, basically I'm going to use the same stuff. If you, uh, as I say, don't have the paints, please have a code to order witch, so just use any old pencil pen you've got to hand and colour it in with whatever materials you've got available. Right then, let's start drawing a witch. So I'm going to start by drawing the witch's eyes about there on the paper. And I'm going to draw a nose, and a mouth, some teeth, and her pointy hat. Now I'm going to add some hair and then we can draw a chin around the outside. Let's add a body and a hand. She's going to be riding a broomstick so we'll put that arm in there and then we can draw the broom in. Now we've finished her body off I'm going to put another arm in like that and have that holding a wand. like that, add some sort of lines on her clothes and now we can put her legs on. Next let's add a frog in her hat just for fun, so we'll start with the eyes again there and then let's add a cat. So I'll start, I'll start with the ears but then I'll put the eyes in and draw his face and then we can just draw the cat's body. And again it's just a matter of fitting him around the witch. Let's add a few stars and maybe a moon in the sky. And now we're ready to add some colour. 
So I'm going to paint my moon yellow. I'm just using the same colours I had out from the uh, spider. I'm going to mix the yellow and turquoise to make green. Put a bit more turquoise in to make a shadow tone. And now I'm going to add a bit of red just for some lipstick and her tights. Paint the frog. Paint the witch's outfit black. Now I know witches tend to traditionally have black cats, but I'm going to paint mine orange just so it doesn't sort of blend in with her clothes. So you've got a ginger tom there. And now I'm going to paint the sky turquoise because that's the paint that I've got out. And there we have our finished witch. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. And even if you don't fancy creating a witch or creating a spider or in fact any Halloween characters, the important thing is to try and do something creative. It's good for us all, gets our mind working, it's relaxing, it's really great. So maybe have a go at drawing something else, have a go at drawing one of these, have a go at doing something completely different. My name's Simon, I'm from Armadillo Art Experience, I hope you enjoyed our film. Thanks for watching, goodbye.